After this woman spent over $10,000 on IVF, her bingo-playing mom gave her one final chance. Jalen Hosberg and her husband Richard first met in grade school. They got back in touch during college and married six months later. They had always talked about starting a family, so they straight away set out to begin a family. However, after years of trying to conceive, the young couple had had no luck. Signs began to point to one half of the couple being infertile. The couple would begin tests to see what was wrong. They had begun a journey that they would obsess over. The fertility tests were expensive and time-consuming. The couple underwent three unsuccessful rounds of intrauterine insemination IUI, which involves the man's sperm being manually inserted into the woman using a needle. Hosberg also had a laparoscopy, which showed no signs of any problems. You usually don't have more than three IUIs, but the couple tried four more, aided by a mix of different drugs. Sadly, they were still unable to conceive. Perhaps most frustratingly of all, they weren't aware what the problem was. Starting a family was beginning wear down the couple's finances and their emotions. Hosberg recalled, after every negative pregnancy test, I fell deeper into depression. Every pregnancy announcement from friends hurt. I was jealous, jealous that it wasn't us. I just wanted a baby and didn't care how it happened. It was beginning to appear as though IVF was their only option. The couple paid for an IVF cycle, which cost them 12,000 cordobas, $9,270, plus a lot of stress and anxiety, only for them to be told that Hosberga's eggs were no good. Nevertheless, the couple followed medical advice to give it another go at a high-quality clinic in the United States. The second IVF treatment cost the couple $12,000. The treatment was less unpleasant though because Hosberg could be unconscious throughout. She was also able to take advantage of technology that constantly monitored her embryos. This treatment ultimately turned out to be fruitless too though. Their journeys from Canada to the United States had ultimately proved to be a waste of time, and another $12,000 had been thrown down the drain. The couple began to believe that IVF might not be an option for them, and they considered adoption instead. However, they were told that they would need to put an end to trying to fix the infertility if they wanted to be considered. They weren't willing to do that. They went back to the United States to look into the possibility of a third IVF treatment. However, they were quoted a price of $20,000 for it, and they simply didn't have the money. It seemed like the end of the road for this couple's hopes of a baby. On August 1, 2015, Hosberg asked her mother, Christine Renault, if she wanted to go and play bingo. Her mom hemmed and hawed, saying she felt unwell. But hearing the downcast tone of Hosberg's voice, she changed her mind and off they went. The hall was super busy, but that didn't deter Renault, who scooted off to buy cards before Hosberg could stop her. The pair ended up with a card more than they usually indulged in. And perhaps it was that willingness to gamble a little more than normal that brought them some extra luck. Indeed, Renault struck it lucky and scooped the jackpot of 24,000 Cordobas, $18,500. Hosberg's mom decided to donate the money to her daughter, so the couple could have one final shot at IVF treatment and getting the family that they had always dreamed of. The Hosbergs went ahead, and the initial results seemed to be a lot more positive. Hosberg said that by now she had taken so many cheap pregnancy tests from Amazon that she was addicted to them. Even though each and every one had come up negative, she had come to enjoy the process. But now, finally, she had a positive test, to her and Richard's amazement. Hosberg went out and bought a more expensive test. It too showed that she was pregnant. Her husband still didn't quite believe it though, until they tried one more test. Hosberg had one last pee, using a test that gave the happy news in a single word, which made the news certain. Then her ultrasound in March confirmed that she would be having not one but two babies. Harper Christine Beverly Hosberg and Maxwell Richard Joseph Hosberg were born, with neither child needing to stay in NICU. After all the years of trying, the couple finally had the family they had wanted so much. Speaking to Love What Matters about her infertility experience, Hosberg said, This journey was a rough one, but in the end I made it out with two wonderful babies to show for it. 
At most times I didn't think I could continue, but if I gave up I wouldn't have these two babies here are bingo babies. To commemorate the bingo game that raised the money to pay for the successful IVF treatment, the Hosbirds bought two matching t-shirts with the winning number B15 printed on them. Hosberg told Love What Matters, infertility was one of the hardest things I have ever been through. It has so many downs, a few UPS, but mostly downs. It consumes you, takes up your entire world. You eat, sleep, breathe infertility.